This is the sun. The sun is the main source of all of our energy and it's made of atoms. An atom is made up from protons, neutrons and electrons. Protons have a positive charge, electrons have a negative charge and neutrons have a neutral charge. The solar flare is what causes the northern lights. A solar flare is the releasing of charged particles that come from the sun. Normally, you wouldn't be able to see the solar flare, but this time we've made it visible. The solar flare travels very fast. It travels two million miles per hour. They may not travel at the speed of light, but it's still very fast. The charged particles would travel through the solar system. Some of the particles would pass Mercury, Venus, and some of the particles might even arrive at Earth. At its centre, the Earth contains a red hot cyan, solid iron and nickel, and nickel core. This creates a magnetic field around the Earth, similar to the magnetic field of a bar magnet, as shown here. Charged particles are attracted to the Earth's magnetic field, which exists because of our planet's iron core. The charged, the charged particles from the Sun interact with the magnetic field. It repels the particles, blocking them from reaching the Earth's atmosphere or surface. When they hit the field, it breaks and the particles spiral towards the poles. The magnetic field combines again around the other side of the Earth. The Earth's atmosphere is made up of different gases, including nitrogen and oxygen. The solar flare hits the electron off from its orbit. The different colours of light depend on how far the electron travels. The electron returns to its orbit because it has a negative charge and the protons in the nucleus have a positive charge. This means they get attracted to each other. I think that this was a great way of learning. I think this because it allowed students to get involved with science and education. The technology made education fun and simple to learn. I believe this type of learning is very effective. It allowed for me to have fun whilst learning. I think the presentation is clear and other students will understand about the Aurora Borealis more. Well, it um, separated work from the normal classroom. It was something a lot more interactive and enjoyable. I enjoyed working with Gaia because it's an alternative way of learning instead of just being in a normal classroom. And we've also got to develop, uh, apply our skills and knowledge in a different way so, uh, and to teach other people what we know. I think this way of learning is really good as it is different because we have been able to create our own 3D imaging. I really enjoyed working in groups as we get to learn off each other and I think this is really important. Right in the scripts you get to understand the science more than you would if you were just in a classroom and then you get to use the scripts and use the technology like the green screens which is really important for our education. I think that the best bit of doing this project was creating the storyboard and then seeing it being brought to life through 3D images. I like this way of learning because I feel that we can use more advanced technology to make science more fun but also show others the science. I think it makes science more fun because if we use the green screen we can show learning at a different perspective but also we can help show the science behind it.